Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun! Before moving onward here, I actually want to change my setup a little bit. I want to actually break up Ivan's Scholar Job class because, well, we're going to be going to a desert area and, well, guess what element the enemies are going to be weak to? If you say fire, well, yeah, there's actually a couple enemies that are weak to fire there. But some of them are weak to water, too. So I want to split up the two water attacking gen genies, whatever, that I got. Okay, and I also want to give the elven shirt to Mia because... Uh, what? Yeah, some enemies are going to be weak to water, so I don't want Ivan being able to go first. I want Mia to soften up the enemies so the other characters can wrap things up there. But before heading to the desert, we have a little unfinished business over here. How did you guys even get over there? Well, you just gotta find a secret passage. Haha! He's got a boulder twice the size of his head on top of him! How can he possibly be okay? I can't feel my legs! Ah, okay. Well, how does it even work? Well, you could try using Synergy. Maybe read the mind of the boulder or something and try to talk it through. Ah, um, well, we could try lifting the rock. I think that would be a, a good start. Just pick it up. What do you mean, two boulders? Well, I guess there's a smaller rock next to him, but... Okay, well, anyway, since we are here now, let's put our lift synergy to use. Hey, hey! Yeah, we can do this the lazy way. Oh, no, no, I just was waving my hand for no apparent reason. They all float. What do you mean, pull him free? He's already free. Couldn't he just... I don't know, stand up if he's not really injured? What do you mean, halfway out? Nope, he's gonna die. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. It's not like it's gonna go anywhere, though. Hey, hey all right. And one thing about this situation is that it influences, or changes, an event in the second game, actually. And you get an item out of it, if I recall correctly. Not a very good item, but it's there. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, good for you guys. Aww. Well, it only took me two minutes. I don't think two minutes is going to be the difference between the saving or the destruction of the world. Well, that would explain how the ladies got through the cave. What's going on? Dude? No, you were the one who wanted us to get moving. Yeah. You insolent fool. Well, what? That's it? What do you mean, see us soon? We're heading far away from here. And we'll probably never see you again. What do you mean? Well, yeah, not anytime soon, I would imagine. Sure, why not? 
Might as well. What do you got to lose? What do you mean? We... We just, I want an explanation. Ah. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Yeah, I mean, if we don't ask now, you never know. Well, okay, you don't have to ask, but I will. What are we asking about again? Oh, or we could wait. But I still want to ask her anyway. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, I could have told you that. Ah. Uh, hmm. Um, I guess. I don't know why you're so choked up about all this, but... Okay. Alright, so we're done here. Let's refill our synergy. And let's head on over to the... I don't know how you pronounce it. Lamakin, Lamakin, whatever. The desert. Now, in this part, you got a little, I don't know, thermometer gauge on the left there. But as long as you're walking on this rocky terrain here, nothing will happen. But once you step onto the sand, it, the temperature starts rising very, very quickly. Well, yeah, it's a desert. Get used to it. What, already? I'm like 10 seconds into this place. But anyway, yeah, just like they were saying, you use Reveal, you can find the oases around here, and that'll reset the thermometer. And it'll give us a new battle here. Okay, new enemy. Okay, let's see. Orcs. These guys are weak to Jupiter. So let's take advantage of that. Let's see, these guys, there is nothing remarkable about them. They have an attack called Spasm. I don't even know what that does. But I guess it's just damage or something. So now, what we want to look out for... Let's see, from here... Yeah, what we want to look out for are these rings of stones. Sometimes they will... Yeah, have an item in there. Other times they'll have uh, an oasis there, or in other areas they'll just do something completely different. Ah, oh, well, sorry, Mia. So yeah, you always want to keep an eye out for those oases like that. Okay, now from here, see, I want to go up, and we're going to have to be quick about this. By the way, if that thermometer gets all the way up to max there, your entire party will take a lot of damage. I don't know the precise amount, but whatever. You don't want to let that happen. But we do want to get a new weapon here. That's why I didn't buy a second Claymore there. So the Vulcan Axe there, not only does it have Barrage, which is a Mars Elemental ability there. Oh, I should get on the chain now too. But yeah, not only is the Unleash Mars Elemental, but it's also one of the very few elemental weapons without the Unleash. It's actually Mars Elemental as well. So you could deal a little extra damage with that, even without unleashing it or unleashing a gem or whatever. So just pass down the Claymore to Isaac. That's why I didn't buy one for him. And now we really need to get back to the Oasis in a hurry. Yeah, we know. We know, Mia. Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Okay, we got a couple new enemies here. Okay, now with the Salamander, that guy has quite a bit of HP. So I'm going to need a couple guys to go after that one. So let's do that. Let's see. Not much I can do with the other two guys. Hmm. Let's see. Why don't you just, yeah, attack one and... Yeah, we'll go with that. The Grubs are weak to Mars. But the Salamander is weak to Mercury. Oh, wow. Look at that damage. Now we got to do is just take out the little Grub there. And, yeah, just everyone else. Stand down. 
So yeah, we could have taken the path to the right there, but I don't think we would have made it to the oasis in time. What do you mean? Aren't you wearing shoes? Oh yeah, that's right. We... D I sold the turtle boots. Whoops. Okay, I guess we don't have shoes. And for some reason, I keep on forgetting to set my gym again. Hey, listen! Uh-oh, what's that guy? Yeah, if you walk too close to... Well, the antlion, yeah, you'll get sucked in. So, but I want to show this guy off at least. It's good for the experience to take them out. Okay, let's see. So, this guy weak to Mercury, but I don't think I'm going to be able to take advantage of that elemental... Or kill it in one round, even with two unleashes with Mercury. So, yeah, let's just soften the guy up a bit. I think he's got, like, what, 400 HP or something? Okay, now we should be able to uh, finish the guy off there, I think. Let's see. No, you can't heal at all. And you can't. Okay. You get to deal with it, Isaac, for a little bit. But let's see. Antlions? Yeah, they got a whole bunch of attacks. Earthquake, Flare Wall, Sonic Wave. Yeah, lots of different elemental attacks there. By the way, the Orc Spasm ability actually is like a healing ability for some reason. I don't know why, but I saw that in one of the battles I fought off screen there. So yeah, try to stay on the rocky terrain if you can. Okay, so this first screen was just a tutorial. This one is where it gets much, much bigger. So let's see what we want to do. Let's go to the left first. And by the way, if you just stand in the sandy area like this, it won't get hotter for you. So if you want to try and think about where you got to go, just stop moving and, well, think about it. If I can ever open this chest. Ha ha! All right. Okay, let's see. The nearest oasis is to the left. Yeah, I'm just going to skim through the party members constantly complaining about the desert. I mean, hey, I don't like the desert any more than anyone else. Dry heat my ass. Okay, I'm kind of taking the long way around here, but I do want to show everything off that we got here. Okay, you got your water. Yes, we... Well, you're not losing e HP. Oh, and we got a Synergy Stone. All right. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I really do need to heal. That antlion got Earthquake on me. Holy cow. Wait a minute. Doesn't Ivan... Oh, right. I gave the... Yeah, the Mercury genie to Isaac. I was going to say, wait a minute, doesn't Isaac, Ivan have Wish? But, yeah, whoops. Okay, let's see. From here, where am I? Okay, we really need to get back to a pool. Let's go back a little bit. Of course, I get into a random battle a split second after using Reveal. Absolutely. Well, first things first, let's take this guy out. You might have noticed in the circle of stones to the left. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we got another genie that we don't have to fight, even though we're in a dungeon, sort of. But, alright. Alright, so let's put that one to use. Now I'm going to change my setup quite a bit here. I want to go like that, because that'll help out. Uh, Garrett's stats there, and it'll still leave Mia with the Venus gin because there's no enemies that are weak to Venus here, at least not to my knowledge. And I want the fastest person to have the Venus gin. Okay, so let's see. From here, let's see. Let's go up and to the left. You don't have to kill all the antlions around here, but... I think it's good for the experience. Eventually, I will switch around my gen to be something remotely normal, but not right now. Okay, let's see. Lucky Pepper. Probably want to give that to Garrett. Hmm. Yeah, Garrett. We'll give that to you. Goodbye, Mr. Antlion. 
Good luck trying to sucker people, or sucker more people into your oasis. I like how they use the same animation there that they did in Mercury Lighthouse when you got stuck in the water. <laughs> hmm, lucky number seven. Yeah, we need an oasis soon. It's even more gross when you keep on commenting about it there, Mia. Okay, I think we're in the clear. And we got a new enemy there. Okay, Fighter Bee. That guy, let's see, is weak to Jupiter. And they could stun you, so you want to watch out for that. Hmm. Who gives more experience, the Orc or the Bee there? Let's see, that would be... The Orc, by one experience point. So, yeah, let's make sure we get what we can out of that. Oh, wow! Look at that damage! Didn't even need to soften that guy up! Holy cow! I'm surprised Garrett went before Ivan, though. Yeah! Wow, that's a pretty decent disparity in agility to not have the turns go that way. And one last antlion. Okay, now we're in the clear. Once you get past that screen, most of the rest of this screen is going to be rock. So you won't take nearly as much damage or temperature, whatever. You won't risk taking more damage than you would on the sand. Okay, we go left here. Okay, this part... Where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, it's a dead end. What do we do now? Find a secret passage! And the temperature gets reset, even though we're in a cave full of fire! I don't know why you would need torches in such a small cave like that, but okay. Hmm, we gotta look for an oasis soon. Let's start down here. And see what we got up here. Come on. Game? Alright. Ooh, more mints. Okay, I'm gonna give that to Garrett, I think. Yeah, why is your agility so... Oh, no, it's not that low. It's because... I was wondering why Garrett had so much more... Agility, but that's because he has all those Jupiter gin, which I'm not going to keep around on him forever. Alright, one last swim in the pool, and then we'll get to the end of this place. We're almost done. Whoa, okay, I gotta go higher up then. Well, you're about to. Okay, we are here at the very end. We got, well, another waterfall. What the? What the hell is that thing? Can we get past it? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.